So what do so-called strongmen Vladimir Putin, Viktor Orban and Recep Erdogan have in common? According to democracy data collected by The Economist, the countries during the past decade have descended towards dictatorship. After Putin became president of Russia in 2000, he tore down previous efforts to make the country in a liberal democracy. He wiped out free media, took control of state institutions and made it impossible for opposition candidates to run credible campaigns. Putin has switched between the roles of Prime Minister and President to get around the country's term limits. Backed by rich oligarchs, the alleged dictator has won popular support by scaring voters into thinking NATO and the EU threaten Russia and that only someone strong and authoritarian can defend Russia's interests. The former spy is trying to drive a wedge between US President Donald Trump and NATO to weaken the defensive line along Eastern Europe. Putin's strategic ally in Central Europe is Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban. Orban's also a populist, portraying the flood of refugees into Hungary as a scourge or painting himself as saviour of his country's identity. The local media pushes his anti-immigration agenda while staying silent on Orban's cronyism and corruption scandals. He proudly presides over what he calls an illiberal state and this anti-democratic stance puts Hungary at risk of being kicked out of the EU. Turkey's president Recep Erdogan has also become more friendly with Russia as his relationship with Europe deteriorates. Erdogan has spearheaded constitutional changes, giving the position of president vast new powers. His administration has jailed critics, has arrested hundreds of journalists, leaving alone only those who give him positive media coverage. Erdogan uses his leverage against Europe, threatening to push millions of refugees onto the continent, already grappling with a migrant crisis. The EU has abandoned moves to allow Turkey to join, while Ankara has threatened to leave NATO to punish the US for hurting its economy with sanctions. And it's feared these three strongmen will inspire other authoritarian regimes to spring up in the region, especially in Poland and Ukraine.